Back for a quick project. This is gonna be a shoe rack that I use in the garage just to keep the shoes up off the floor, keep things organized. It's like a 10 minute project, uh, really simple and I like it, very useful. So here's a quick view of the shoe rack that I'm gonna walk you through. Super easy, um, shouldn't take more than hopefully 10 minutes. Uh, normally my estimation of projects isn't the best, but yeah, you can just see the shoes float in here. Um, with this one in particular, this was just a, um, a rod for like an old push broom that had broken. And this metal, piece of metal, came off of a five gallon bucket from Lowe's. So I just cut it in half, bent it, and you can see it just sits in there, it floats in the two by four, and it floats in here. And the, the key is just to have enough of the metal to get down well into, the, into this um, dowel so it stays put. Anyway, I'll quickly show you how to do this. So we're gonna cut the two by four to length. Uh, I have this here at 31 and a half inches. About there. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'll cut that and then I'm going to rip it on the table saw and then I'll take you to the next step. Okay, so cut that two by four to length. Also ripped it. That's like an inch and an eighth, just a little more lower profile. Uh, cut the dowel, same thing, 31 and a half. This is that piece of uh, steel that I bought from Lowe's. It's like three bucks, so cheap project. I'll bend this, I'll actually show you how I bend it, which should take you know, no time at all. Uh, and I'm just gonna drill some holes here. I have a countersink bit that I'll use just to you know, um, put the screw heads back a little bit, have it recessed. And then got a couple holes here on the side that I'll be screw, uh, drilling. And the drill bit is gonna be just slightly bigger than that metal rod. Okay, so I drilled all the holes. Uh, I'm gonna insert the rod here. Um, you can see this, this goes in about three inches. Uh, and then I marked a little spot here for me to bend it out from um, where it actually goes into the wood. And then from there, what we're going to do is you kind of want, I think on the other one I did about five inches, but it really depends upon the size of the shoes. So this is going to be for my kids. Uh, so it's going to be about four inches of just metal that's going to be straight hanging. And again, that's for the size of the shoes, which will make sense soon. Uh, and then you can see here, ultimately... I marked the metal here. This is where I'm going to cut it. So I'm going to cut it, then I'm going to take it over to the vise. I'm going to bend it, and then I'll uh, show you how to install it quickly. All right, excuse the mess, but you can see I just have this lined up in my vise. I'm going to take the handy hammer and uh, just beat <laughs> this and bend it at a 90 degree angle. And then same thing on the other side. I'm going to readjust slightly uh, and then bend this. So I'll come back to you after it's bent. Should take a minute. All right, got it up on the wall. I have one side connected. So here's the uh, finished bent rod that I did, All right? So just sliding that in. It's gonna be hard for me to do this with one hand. Um, and we're gonna slide this one in. Should be hard. Get in there, there we go. And we're just gonna push it all the way in. Which isn't that easy with one hand, but anyway. <sighs> you get a sense of it. Uh, and then I will uh, just finalize this, tighten it up a bit, and then put the shoes in. That's it. All right, there you go. Finished project. Probably took about 25 minutes. Not quite as quick as I was hoping, but um, not a hard project, easy to tackle, and I uh, hope you got something out of it. Thanks.